Welcome to our Culture Gaming. I'm Scott. I'm joined by Josh. Hello, Scott. Hello. Now, we covered this a few months back when it first started appearing yeah, as a rumour. Um, but now Kotaku has done their standard sources thing where they go and talk to people and they break stories way ahead, way ahead of when they're actually meant to be <laughs> known by the public. And it turns out that Google are actually going into the console making business. Um, now, there's not a huge amount to pick apart here in terms of specifics. And um, we have some console stuff in terms of what the console will be and the way that this sort of like is gathering steam in the industry. Yeah. Now, apparently, Google have been sitting down with a whole bunch of different devs and teams. Um, both at GDC, which is the Game Developers Conference, and they just did it at E3 as well. So Ooh, they're starting okay. to make their presence felt amongst the games industry. Um, and obviously, you know, they've got into things before. They, they've advertised things like an Android streaming service, and the App Store itself is home to all sorts of things like Pokemon Go, oh, it's which good. is just the best thing ever. Um, but Kotaku, uh, you know, obviously got in touch with their sources and managed to pick apart some specific console features. Yeah. Now, this is where it gets interesting because it starts to get into the weird competition space that Xbox is buying for. Um, the the first thing that the Google console will be is is a focus on streaming. Right. Um, it'll actually it'll still have a small piece of hardware, but the majority of it will be, or you can have a hardware option. Okay. But the majority of it will be a streaming service. Um, and one of the quotes given from someone who on the inside is, "Imagine playing The Witcher 3 in a tab on Chrome." No. No. no that's the worst no, thing in the world. No. Why would anybody want to do that? I have nightmares about that. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, yeah, they want they want the whole thing, which is what Microsoft started yeah. talking about as well, um, about like beaming games in from some centralized hub, whether that's on your phone yep. or your watch or whatever it is. But it means that you know, you'd know you have a catalog of stuff that you can tap into wherever the hell you are. Interesting. Um, personally, I don't trust it because I nope. haven't trusted it since PlayStation Now tried yep. it. And even Sony have just walked back their streaming That's plans. what I was going to say, yeah. So it's like, even even them, and they, they put so much money into Gaikai Tech, and they yep. were like, no, this is going to be the future and all that kind of thing. And it lags. It stutters. It's not playable. I think so. that is the main point of contention there yes. because you know streaming is all well and good. In a reality, being able to play something like the which on a tablet mm. wherever without actually having to put a disc in or even download anything is a great future. I don't trust that works, like you said, no. because PlayStation Now was so buggy. And it's a, it's a decent service when it is working. But like yes. you said, Sony have, even they've gone like, no, no, we're going to let you download games. That is the future. <laughs> when streaming technology isn't where it needs to be, I know no. Google is a huge, huge company, and they do have like, if, if anyone could do it, it's them, but it's not proven. I don't know why you would mm. come out and base it entirely around streaming. Maybe, you know, set the groundwork for the future. Mm. Maybe like, have it as an option, but to come out and just be like, no, this is entirely what we're doing. At least that's from the outset. That's oh. only from the anonymous sources and stuff that they've yes. managed to pick apart. Um, because that's the thing. Even both Xbox and Sony seem to offer both sides of this. Well, yeah. Xbox doesn't do streaming. They've always done just download the full file. Yeah. Um, obviously, the main reason that businesses don't do this is because it leaves them open to um, like uh, piracy. Right. Because you can just access the game data and pull it off. But it, it's better for the consumer. For me, it always has been. I, I never trusted PlayStation now. Um, play, play a fighting game on that thing, and it's yeah. just impossible. Um, but it's like it represents a, a, a real, like I don't know, dynamic shift for the industry because we're seeing Xbox talk about this. Like, mm -hmm. Sony are kind of going back and forward on it. They actually looked at they've walked it back. But going forward, the next generation of consoles, yes. like, Ubisoft are saying it's going to be the last one. And then if it goes into oh, streaming... They always say that. Well, yeah, they always I mean, say that. Yeah, maybe on Good and Evil too. But, like, <laughs> it's one of the, you know, it's, it's, it seems to be the way that the, the right. generation's going. And if Google are going to swoop in, then, you know, there's that. I, I just, I don't see them gaining a foothold when yep. the, the brand recognition is so strong with PlayStation, Nintendo. And ah, see, on, on that front, I sort of disagree in a way because we, you would. Yeah, I, I just wanted to just play Devil's Advocate. But oh. we've, we've had like Sony and Microsoft Nintendo for a long time now, and it's been a, been a while since a, a true contender. There have yeah. been contenders, but a true contender has really tried to sort of break into the space. And there is a gap there for something fresh. If this is it, I'm not sure. No, I don't think so. The, the interesting thing for me is the way they're talking about this, like they said, the Witcher 3 comparison. Mm -hmm. That to me seems impossible, but I think there is a space for a streaming service of games where the games are sort of more manageable, more casual. You can like download, I don't know, just smaller experiences and it works Pokemon really Go. well. Like Pokemon Go and it works really well, you know Clash what I mean? Royale. Whereas if you try to get in with the AAA stuff and you try to stream that, that, mm. that puts you in direct competition with Sony and Microsoft especially True. in that I don't think that holds up to sort of like the physical side of no, no, not full at all. game downloads. I mean, any train journey will make you lose signal for a bit. Exactly, it's not yeah. going to be streaming the, the the boss, you know, the yeah. final bit of The Witcher or anything like that. Um, speaking of competition, though, the final thing that they found out is that Google are planning to, oh, they want to, da 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 da, -da. Um, Google basically want to attempt to bring a whole bunch of developers under their wing. And <laughs> Kotaku says, whether through aggressive recruiting or even major acquisitions. Um, so have enough money and you can <sighs> fling it at people to join you. You're Google. I so, love the idea that we could be do, doing a new story in, say, six months' time about them buying 
I don't know. Naughty Dog. <laughs> yeah, Naughty Dog. <laughs> Probably, yeah, yeah. Sony sure. themselves. Sure. <laughs> the Google PlayStation. But I, I mean, yeah, if they have enough money, if they want to go all hostile takeover, it didn't seem to work for Vivendi when they tried to take no. Ubisoft, but I guess there's a way to try and go forward with that. I don't think they, like, I don't think that's a good move, especially no. when it comes to PR, because we're, we're, again, right now, Xbox and Sony are having a war on over crossplay. And yeah. it's like, if the, the, the step forward, the way Phil Spencer talks, is that mm. he wants, you know, it's what's best for the game, and it's not what's best for the game if Google start buying everything up and making it exclusive. So I don't want the conglomerate soul, the conglomerate I, console. I know what you mean, but they do need to get a foothold in there somehow when we've seen Sony mm. like excel with their exclusive games Microsoft haven't yeah. had that so much this uh, generation and that's why they're kind of on the back foot where Sony have been like look at this for these first party studios and yeah there was no hostile takeover but if uh, Google can come out and be like oh we're going to pick up these developers who haven't actually who aren't tied to mm. sort of like the big companies or even buy like buy up people from X Studios like that. We'll buy the Visceral Game stuff. We'll get them in, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. Maybe yeah. headings free. Yeah, so exactly, whatever. exactly. Bring them in. I think that's Maybe. a sort of good way to do it without having a PR nightmare of like, Google are trying to monopolize the whole thing. The last two things I can think of as far as new consoles that just tried to go for it and then and everyone's like, oh my God, and then yeah. they just failed is both the Steam Box when Valve were going to launch yeah. this console version, home console version of the, of the Steam service and it just fell on its arse. Yeah. And then the Ouya. Which was meant to be this whole like you know indie dev focused thing that anyone could code for, and they pretty much just took the money and ran, and it, it just didn't you know that thing is about as stable as like a pile of noodles. It's just terrible, and so like we've seen other people try and challenge the yeah. big three, and they've always fell apart. Um, I would posit that Google could make a home for indies more than Xbox yes. and Sony have tried. And um, you let the triple A's go over over here. It's like they're the multiplexes, they're the big ones, yeah. and you have you know you have like Google be this little mini machine because Google don't have an artistic footprint like in terms of like you know they're very much thought of as a business they're not thought of as having like a personality or like yeah. anything like that um so in terms of their hand-picking developers mean. I mean. like it's kind of all up for grabs yeah it's true i guess i don't know it's hard because I, I was only a wee ben when uh, microsoft like got into the console race with uh, xbox and stuff but they've been on out. the planet for 11 years <laughs> at that point <laughs> they came out bloody really hell fire <laughs> confidently you know like they made their own personality and there's no reason that like, google can't do the same thing come out with like sick <laughs> sick adverts and yeah. just like give themselves a face in like the console Space. Back in your day, when Back you were a in... bright-eyed baby, hey, you, you know opened what? your I eyes. I loved that original Xbox. And that Metal Gear Solid 4 came out. Get absolutely <laughs> lost. Absolutely lost. Not to worry. Um, you guys can let us know what you think down in the comments below. Do Google stand a chance, or do you just not see them catching on? I've been Scott from OurCulture.com. I'm in Josh from OurCulture.com. I'll oh, we'll catch you soon. Bye. Goodbye.